are hosting our West Point Leadership Ethics and Diversity Workshop. We have assembled a group of top leaders from across the United States and also from our local community. We have some of the top cadets from the United States Military Academy at West Point. Please stand for the entrance of the official party and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and the invocation. Top cadets from Jackson State University, Alcorn State University, and these cadets are going to be engaging our JPS scholars and some of our educators for a full day talking about the importance of leadership, ethics, and character. Distinguished leaders, ladies and gentlemen, cadets and cadre of Jackson State University, the U.S. Military Academy at West Point, and Jackson Public Schools, welcome to our second annual West Point Leadership, Ethics, and Diversity in STEM workshop. This event is a collaborative effort of the West Point Society of Mississippi, Jackson Public Schools Junior ROTC, Jackson State University Computational Chemistry Center, the JSU Engineering and Military Science Department, and the West Point Diversity, Inclusion, and Equal Opportunity Office at West Point, New York. This is an event that's done in nine cities across the United States, and Jackson is fortunate to be one of those cities. Uh, one of our primary sponsors for this event, that we couldn't do it without them, is the West Point Society of Mississippi. And I think we have Mr. Leon Jones. Mr. Leon Jones is a representative. There's one name I would be totally remiss if I did not recognize. Dr. Shonda Allen. Cadets, I want you all to know, and many of you do know this because Dr. Allen is also the Associate Director of the Nanotoxicity Center here at Jackson State University. And this organization provides tremendous opportunities to our cadets during the summer. So we are very pleased with the support that Dr. Shonda Allen and her team provides. I want you to understand that today's program is designed for students to experience and tolerate a variety of experiences that cause thought, civil discourse, and team building across those differences. Additionally, it exposes students to the concept of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, hoping to inspire them towards careers in STEM. This program is intended to help sustain the moral, ethical foundations necessary to increase the number of STEM competent leaders of character who will lead diverse and global organizations, and that's what we are preparing our students to do. In the program, you're going to put joints here first in your program, and then you're going to put the members in to go connect all the joints. The program tests the bridge. It's going to put a truck to go across the bridge to see is it uh, able to carry, safely carry the load. The height for the bridge, which where we can design the bridge. As a leader, should you be able to know everything about each body, everybody in your group or your team? The workshop objective is to help students understand the link between ethics, good decision making, and STEM experiences. Today, approximately 200 Jackson Public School JROTC cadets, along with 40 middle school junior ROTC cadets, from Powell Academy of Military Science and 50 JPS educators will experience the benefit of this program. What aspects of your personality do you think are important when it comes to leadership? Positivity. If you're a leader and you don't have the motivation to do well, then your group is not going to have the motivation to do well. I'm Paul Chino. I serve as the Associate Dean for Research graduate studies and international programs here in the College of Science, Engineering and Technology at Jackson State University. Uh, this is indeed an exciting activity that promotes science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education in our beautiful city of Jackson. Uh, there exists a critical national need to train and prepare talented students to assume leadership roles in the future. If you look at what is happening in China, for example, about 75% of students on the graduate levels are STEM students. But yet here in the United States, we only have about 15% of our students going into STEM field. Educational program that inspire and stimulate student interest in STEM careers, it is really an economic and moral imperative for the country as a whole. If we want to prepare the brightest mind to lead, uh, we must not only offer rigorous STEM programs, but also provide experiential learning 
opportunity to our students throughout the STEM pipeline. Here uh, in the College of Science, Engineering and Technology, uh, we support the three-four mission of Jackson State University by providing excellent STEM education to our students. We also conduct scholar research to advance scientific knowledge and engineering knowledge and excellent STEM expertise to the local, national, and international community. So I showed up this morning to simply say to you that this conversation about STEM is critical to the city that you live in. It's critical because while we need uh, mayors and senators and all these other folk, what we need are problem solvers. We need people who have the critical thinking capacity. We need you to invest in the opportunity to be a part of the solution, Jacksonians. We need you to understand that what this opportunity that's been afforded to us by West Point gives us, it gives us the opportunity to lead, to model, and to not look forward to folks showing us the way, but where we lead the way and where we create the way. We have no other choice but to lead. We have no other choice but to lead in an ethical fashion. And we have no other choice but to diversify the amount of folks who are in uh, this STEM industry that gives each and every one of you an opportunity not only to be a problem solver, not only to be a solution, but to also make a little money. It is one of and will be one of the most lucrative opportunities that you could ever take advantage of. This is an opportunity for you to figure out how do I become part of a movement because the, the, the real civil rights movement of 2017 has to do with how you take care of your environment and how you improve that environment for your communities. We're waiting on you, we need you, and we believe in you. God bless you. Leadership is being able to take the responsibility and to be a model to other people. Leadership and ethics is what we're about to go talk about, but right now we're just getting to know each other. This is a STEM and LEAD outreach program with West Point and the J. Rossi cadets, as well as cadets from JSU. So the purpose of this is to bring people together, give them an opportunity with bridge building, ethics training, leadership training through the cadets. It's also a chance to team build and work together with classmates outside of their school districts. I'm very aware of the honor here of being this teaming of three great institutions. Of course, West Point Military Academy, Jackson State University, and Jackson Public Schools. Every day you are bombarded about the security challenges that face our nation. Every day you see stories of the threats uh, that we must meet as a nation to move forward. But I will tell you, at the, at the fundamental, the biggest threat we have to our nation's security is education. The education of, of our young people is the single most important thing that will uh, contribute to the long-term vitality and survival of this as a nation. If you want to move the needle for your community, for your state, for your nation. STEM is the way to go. We need you out there today on the front lines doing mathematics, engineering, science, technology. We need young people like you to dedicate your lives to this. And this is not just uh, the lead on Orion space mission to Mars, but we need people out there teaching physics and mathematics in our middle schools and high schools and universities. We need people like you who have assembled here today to taking that extra step and see what some of these opportunities are for you. Take the time and this opportunity here today to meet with these young men and women from West Point who are here today with the faculty of Jackson State and look for a career in STEM. Look for a career in one of these fields where you can be part of the solution for our nation, community, and state. Thank you. So whatever you turn up, the heights, the price will change. But it gives you the choice to use it. So what the students are doing now in this class is they're trying to design the cheapest bridge and using the least amount of materials as well. You, have, you can pick your own design. Looks best, whatever you think will be the best design. I can remember nearly two years ago when I had a conversation with Mr. Ben Minifield and Colonel Willis about this opportunity to bring this great program to Jackson. And they were so excited and motivated about this opportunity because of what it would do for our students. We moved a few years ago to embrace the academies in the city of Jackson and focus on STEM because we knew of all of those things that the mayor and others have talked about as it relates to STEM and moving forward into uh, generations to come. The young people that are sitting here in this room are our greatest and best hope for tomorrow. Today is just another opportunity for you to continue to move toward making that, that phrase a reality. 
So we want you to take advantage of today, engage, and learn. Cadet Sergeant Emily McGowan. Emily is a third-year cadet at West Point. She spent her formative years here in the Jackson metro area and is an honor graduate of Brandon High School. Emily is a true scholar, athlete, leader. She was selected as the Clarion Ledger's first team, all-state girls soccer team. She was also elected as student vice president for her high school class. She was also actively involved in the junior ROTC throughout her years at high school. Those of you from Mara High School might recall that Vanessa actually spent a little time as a junior ROTC instructor with us, and we appreciate that. So we are proud to have the entire Hicks McGowan family here to support our superstar, Emily. Today I have seven, yes, seven points for you to put in your backpacks of knowledge. The first point, perseverance. If there is anything every person sitting to my left and right and the cadets from Jackson State and West Point can tell you is that without perseverance, you will go nowhere in life. Raiders Challenge, Ranger Challenge, those type of hua hua competitions have obstacles from start to finish. They all contain physical and mental challenges which all help build team cohesion. It takes perseverance from start to finish to continue to work as a team to complete the missions and finish the competition. Having the right attitude and right frame of mind means everything when it's time to make a decision. Try to start every day with a good attitude so your positivity can not only outweigh those negative people, but it might even change them into a positive person. You, like the panel before you, has gone above and beyond what others have expected you to do. You have taken the path less traveled, and that has made all the difference. To successfully gain an appointment to West Point or the luxurious four-year Army ROTC scholarship to the Jackson State University, it will take a lot of time to arrange your packet, write the letters, talk to strangers, and oh, by the way, you still need to graduate top of your high school class. The tears are sweat from your eyes will come because you are realizing how close you are to graduation, but how lost you are as to what the next chapter holds in your life. The appointment and scholarship application takes a lot of sweat because you want to be physically fit so that when you arrive, there's one less thing you have to worry about. Through all the negativity, stress, and mishaps, smile. It may change your perspective on the matter, and I'm convinced it will help you get through whatever that matter is. A smile like a positive attitude can go a long way for some people. When I look in the mirror to make sure I look presentable, I tell myself I am healthy, wealthy, and wise. And then I smile at myself. Seeing myself happy to start my day sets that positive tone for the rest of the day. When opportunity knocks, open the door. When my parents said I should apply, to the Academy summer program, I said, all right. I applied to West Point's summer leadership experience and the Air Force Academy's summer seminar. At the end, Air Force said yes and West Point said no. I thought for sure I was gonna go to the Air Force Academy, I was gonna play soccer, and I was gonna become a human resource officer. A famous phrase at West Point, as I'm sure at Jackson State is, why not? Why not do something different? Why not go and apply to the academies? Why not apply to the Jackson State University? Why not apply to Mississippi State? Why not apply to the Citadel? Why not? When I officially applied for the United States Air Force Academy, they told me yes, but I had to attend their prep school first. However, when I applied to the United States Military Academy at West Point, they said yes. I almost did not apply to West Point because I did not get into their summer leadership experience. But I persevered through and I said, let's do it again. Through perseverance, a positive attitude, successful mindset, a wide smile, and inspirational parents, I became a recruited athlete to the United States Military Academy, and that has made all the difference. Like the warrior ethos, I will always place the mission first. I will never accept defeat. I will never quit. I will never leave a fallen comrade. Just like you have encouraged yourself to never quit, I too encourage you to never quit and run towards your mark. My mark is May of 2018. Graduation and commissioning for the class of 2018. We believe in peer-to-peer -peer training. The facilitators for today's classes are cadets. We've organized them into teams along with our junior ROTC seniors. 
Our selected seniors who participated in this event last year are assisting the West Point and Jackson State cadets this year to facilitate with our cadets. You are only as strong as your weakest link. This is a class about leadership and ethics. I'm a platoon leader. I've got about 40 people um, that I'm in charge of and we gotta go conduct PT at 5.45 in the morning and we gotta go for PT, we gotta go do a nine mile ruck like you did yesterday. I am by no means a perfect person. I have failed many times, even classes. To the people who are considering the military after high school or commissioning soon, I highly encourage you to try new things. At West Point, we have a course called Survival Swimming. In my opinion, it is a litmus test of how physically fit, how mentally strong you are. This past summer, I took the class again. At the end of the summer class, I failed again by one point. I wanted to leave West Point. I thought for sure they'd kick me out. I prayed on it, but I had to keep moving because I was lined up for training, uh, the class of 2020 and their beast, our cadet basic training. West Point allowed me to stay. I signed the contract saying I'm the Army's for forever, and starting day two, first hour, I had swim. From the start, I never quit and completed each test to the best of my ability. I forced myself to practice at night nearly every other day. I couldn't quit because if I did, I would let my parents, my brothers, myself, <laughs> and my sponsors down. I not only passed the class, but became the go-to person for what others should do to pass the class as well. Perseverance, attitude, smiling, success, inspiration, opportunity, and never quitting has helped me get to where I am now and will continue to help me through the years. Being passionate about what you do and do not do make you who you are. Thank you.